Are we headed for more lockdowns? Or something even worse? The time is now to get prepared. Hey guys, it's Jara with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back everyone. Now I know we're going into a season where most of us start to focus on buying things for other people rather than ourselves. And a few of the things that I'm gonna show you today are for gifts. As you're doing your holiday shopping this year, I wanna encourage you to think about giving the gift of preparedness to those that you love because when you do this, you're really giving the gift of peace of mind. And right now, that's really needed. We all need to be prepared for what's coming. I think we all know how precarious things are right now. The latest, now I'm sure you've seen the news about the mysterious Chinese pneumonia. Does this sound familiar to anyone? Could we be headed for the next lockdown? Remember the panic buying chaos that that ignited? I hope people learned their lesson from that, but I know from experience that many did not. So give the gift of preparedness because we all really need it. Off-grid survival supplies, long-term food, even just a gift card for gas or groceries would be a wonderful gift for most people because honestly, a lot of people are struggling right now. Don't overlook the gift of preparedness. Now let's get right into it and see what I've added to our preps and our pantry this week. I'm gonna start with these things over here. There's a bunch of interesting things here. This is something that I grabbed. I think I was looking for something else. It was actually Walmart and I saw this. It's a really bright light. You can't really tell because it's not dark. It's got two levels of power and flashing and it has this carabiner type of clip that it can clip onto anything, your bag, your purse, your backpack. Um, some of you might remember, I think it was last year or the year before that I had an experience. We had a bad storm and it was, I think it was Christmas Eve. It was right before Christmas and I was out doing some last minute shopping and the store that I was in lost power, the Kohl's. And so it wasn't a huge big deal, but you know, it was trying to find my way out of the store in the dark. So um, I was glad for the flash that I had in my purse and I decided to add a hanging light onto the outside of my purse so that I wouldn't have to fumble. And this is something else that I can use in that way. This has a magnet on the back. You can't see it because it's covered up, but it does stick to metallic surfaces and it can sort of aim in this way, be angled in different ways, which makes it different from the light that I already have. So I just thought this was really cool. And then right here, this is something that I have literally been dreaming about. I was searching the internet for a um, cheesecake flavored chip, like a chocolate chip. And I thought they've got to have something like that. I think I was trying to do um, raspberry cheesecake cookies and you see cookie recipes with cream cheese in the dough, which is okay. But to me, that doesn't give enough of a cream cheese, a, a cheesecake flavor. So I was looking for cheesecake flavored chips and I thought it must exist and it didn't. Well, that was a while ago. And then one day I saw these, these are brand new. They're Hershey's and they are cream cheese flavored chips. I have got so many ideas of what I wanna do with these. Leave me your ideas down in the comments. What would you do with these cream cheese flavored chips? Up here I have a thing of coconut milk powder. I've really come to love coconut milk powder for some of my meals in a jar. I mean, this is great in like a curry type of recipe where you would use canned coconut milk. It's more like the canned type and not as much like the type you drink that you get in the dairy section. But I've used it in um, chia puddings. Coconut milk powder was really, really good. I love that recipe. It's super healthy, individual serving size, little jars you make up, keep on the shelf. Just add water when you want them. So I got some more coconut milk powder. And then behind there, I have another powdered milk product. This is Nido. This is a whole milk powder. And this is one that we like, a lot of people like this one. I started buying it because I thought, you know, sometimes I might want a whole milk, like a richer milk in like a meal in a jar or something like that or in a recipe. But what I found is I, I more often tend to use our Thrive Life milk powder. And even though it's a low fat, I just add more powder to make it richer. And I did notice something about this milk. I noticed a few things actually, kind of doing some reasoning with myself. So a little bit later on in the video, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I kind of noticed about these milk powders. And then here I've got just a couple of sauces. We keep a lot of sauces and condiments on hand and we use them in lots of different ways. Um, I had been buying the Walmart, I think it's called secret sauce, like great value. It's a copy of like a Big Mac sauce. And for a while I couldn't find it. And so I desperately started looking at all these different sauces, trying to find it. And I bought a bunch of different sauces and then of course it came back. So it must have just been out of stock. But I found this chicken dipping sauce, which is probably more like um, 
more like a Chick-fil-A sauce, which I love. But this Walden Farms, they always have like low carb, low sugar things. So I thought I'd try this. And then this, um, this brand here, he also does a lot of sugar-free, low carb. This says burger secret sauce. So I'm assuming this is like a low carb version of the secret sauce or the Big Mac sauce, which would be really good for me. These two, I just saw the color and I saw the name. And so I thought they would be um, kind of like a Big Mac sauce. But when I look more closely with glasses on, I see that it says a mild blend of horseradish, which doesn't really sound like, um, maybe it sounds more like an Arby's, but I love horseradish. So I'm excited to try these. These are not low sugar, but I'm just excited to try them. If anyone has tried this sauce or any of these sauces, really let me know how you like them. Sometimes with the sugar-free versions, I'm just I'm not a huge fan. There's something missing in those sauces sometimes, but I always give them a try. Now back here, I've got, this was a nine pack of these Domino um, granulated pourable brown sugar. I use these a lot in meals in a jar. It's brown sugar and it's just a granulated pourable version of it. And so you don't have to worry about all the moisture in your jar meals. So I use this quite often and I'd been buying, I think a three pack. And so I finally chose to buy the nine pack because I do use it quite a bit. And that was the best deal. This was Amazon. I'm going to have links for everything down in the description box below the video. So make sure you go check there if you're looking for any of this stuff. Up here, I have a couple of little things. This rennet is for cheese making. Now I did some experimenting with uh, instant milk powder. You might remember that video. I made things like yogurt and sweetened condensed milk and ricotta cheese. And I was actually planning to do a lot more with that instant milk powder for that video because that's when it was 60% off. But I just kind of ran out of time. But you can make a lot of different kind of cheeses, mozzarella cheese, farmer's cheese, things like that. This is just an ingredient that I wanted to have on hand for that kind of thing. And right now the milk powder is 50% off, which isn't quite as good as 60%, but I'll probably do a lot more playing with it right now. And then this right here is some yogurt starter. This is like a freeze dried yogurt starter. When I made yogurt with the instant milk powder, I just used a, a little bit of regular yogurt that was already made as my starter. But if you were in a situation, in an emergency situation, or you had no way to get to the store, no power, something like that, you wouldn't probably have fresh yogurt to start with. So this could come in handy. This lasts um, several years and it can be used as a starter culture for making homemade yogurt, which you can do from milk or you can even do it from powdered milk like I did. And that came out really good. I was very impressed and I threw some freeze dried berries in the middle of it and made parfaits. And I tell you what, we used to make our parfaits with frozen berries and they add a lot of extra liquid. The freeze dried berries, of course, absorb liquid as they soften and they made the best parfait. And next I've got, this is a stove fan. So this is not a powered fan. It doesn't use electricity. It just sits on top of say a wood stove, for example, and then the heat from the stove is going to make the uh, fan blades turn and that's going to push the heat the heated air from the stove out into the room instead of it just rising up and this particular one it was a really good deal um i did post this on my uh prepping deals and steals group so if you're not a member of that group go on over there and check that out make sure you turn on all notifications so you don't miss deals i don't post all day long every day i mean it's it's not my full-time job like it is for some people so you're not going to get too many notifications but if i find a deal that i'm interested in or i think that you guys might be interested in then I put it there. So this particular fan actually has a little um, bracket that it comes with that's supposed to make it clip right onto the buddy heaters, the little propane indoor emergency heaters that we have. And so that's why I wanted to try this one. Here I've got another one of these phone chargers. You've probably seen these before. Although actually this one I'm noticing, I couldn't remember. I just got what, it, what was a good deal once again. Um, it looks the same. It's a different brand. I usually get the Charmast brand and I like to stick with the brands I know because I know that it's going to work. But I guess I was trying this one and this might be why. If you look at this, it actually comes in all these colors and this one is purple. So this is going to be for one of my daughters. I make sure that everyone in my family has a power bank like this. So you can see it has cable built in with chargers for all three types of chargers, um, iPhone, USB-C and US uh, mini micro USB. And it also has a built-in prongs for the electrical outlet. So you can use this as all by itself. It's nice and thin, slim, lightweight, easy to carry around. You don't need to pack any extra cables. You don't need to pack a charging block. It's all in one. And that's why I love these. And they do provide quite a bit of charge. 10,000 milliamp hours. And oh no, this one's 20,000. Wow. So I guess that's another reason I tried this. I 
getting forgetful in my old age. So hopefully this one will be even stronger. It might be a little thicker and a little bit heavier, but to have the extra charging power, that's worth it to me. Now this little gadget here, this is something that I thought was really cool. This is a pickle or olive or you know anything like that type of jar. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, say your pickles in here. And if you store it like this, the juice is all down at the bottom. It does have um, a gasket you can see so that it's gonna keep it um, liquid tight so that the liquid's not gonna leak out. Hopefully, haven't tried it yet. And you, the pickles would be down here with their liquid or the olives, whatever. When you're ready to serve, you're going to flip it upside down. And all the juice is going to run down into the bottom little chamber here. So you're going to be able to get your pickles or olives or whatever it is out without all the dripping juice. And it also comes with this little fork, serving fork. And I was excited about this because my youngest daughter is obsessed with sweet gherkin pickles. And she will sit there and eat you know, half a jar at a time. And wherever she sits and eats, it's always all sticky with the juice that has dripped. So I think this is going to help. If we do end up liking this a lot, I'll probably end up getting more because, you know, you always have, at least we always have several different kinds of pickles, olives, things like that open in the fridge. Now back here, this is something that I was super excited about. This is a whole case of, I think, six boxes of this. That's how it came. It was the best deal. This is a dry shelf-stable tortellini. I actually was introduced to this brand from my friend Natasha over at the Budget Preppers channel. She does a ton of meals in a jar over there and all kinds of other prepping, you know, things on a budget. So go ahead and check out her channel. Um, give her a little love and let her know that we sent you. She made a jar meal that was an Alfredo a ravioletti, which was like little mini ravioli and I had never seen that before and she told me where she got it which was Amazon so I went and looked and I didn't even buy the ravioletti yet. I bought these tortellini because these are mushroom tortellini and I love mushroom anything. Love mushroom ravioli so I got these to try. I'm excited to do some jar meals with these and just try using these in a whole bunch of ways. And then this sad box back here, this one sad box, this I was really excited about as well. It is cheese and truffle ravioli. Well, it was a two pack and it was like 10 bucks for the two pack. And my dog somehow got a hold of it and one box was completely gone. And you can see there's a tooth mark in this one. We have some really bad dogs, um, really one in particular, who will haul things down off the table or the counter if it's within his reach. He hauls it down and then his partner in crime comes over and usually eats it. I'm not really sure why he bothers to be naughty only to benefit somebody else. So I was super sad about this and I'm definitely gonna be ordering some more of this and I'm gonna be a little more careful about where I put it when I unpack it this time. Over here, I've got some freeze dried items. Almost all of these things were sale items in November. Of course, November's over by the time they got here and I got them in a video, but there's new sales every month. So you can go on over and check out what's on sale for December. In fact, I have a coupon code for this, which is the best freeze dried food out there. So if you want a coupon code, you can get that one of two ways or both you can text coupons to my number down on the bottom of the screen and i'll send you these coupon codes or you can also go to my website which i will have down in the description box and register for a customer account it's free you can register without purchasing anything and i will email you the codes but what i got here is these if you look here you can really see a good um, example of the difference in the sizes of the cans these are pantry cans so these are smaller they're about quart size cans and then behind there are the gallon size um, family cans. Now this is one pantry can of Parmesan cheese and I just ordered this because I always get the family cans in pretty much everything if it's available because it's almost always the cheapest way to buy it, you know, per unit price. But Parmesan cheese is a very strongly flavored cheese and so you don't tend to use a lot of it. So I really think, and it's pretty densely packed in this can. So I really think I could use um, smaller cans I mean, you do have at least a year to use these up after they're opened. The shelf life is 25 years before they're opened. Once you open them, you should use them within, within about a year, give or take. I mean, so, most things will last a lot longer like anything else, but you just want to be mindful. So I just thought maybe I would start buying a smaller can of the Parmesan cheese. This is much different than like the grated shaker cheese that you get from Kraft or whatever. This is actual like real shredded Parmesan, real good Parmesan. And you would just, you could actually use this dry on salads or whatever, but you could also just refresh it with the tiniest amount of water and just have it just like fresh Parmesan cheese. And then I did something different than what I usually do. 
They have this monthly specials pack that includes one of every single item that's on sale in the smaller size cans. And it's really a great deal for people who are just starting out with freeze dried food or, you know, people maybe who have been buying freeze dried food for a long time, but they have big giant cans and they've never dared to open them and try them out and learn how to cook with them or see which items they really like and which items they don't like, which you definitely want to do because you do not want to be stocking up on foods that you're not going to like when the time comes and you have to open it and use it. And these foods, they want you to open them. They want you to use them. They want you to see how good they are because they're not like most of the other survival type of foods that you would buy on the market. But so the monthly special pack with the pantry cans has one of each item in a smaller can and it's a little bit bigger discount buying it that way. So it's just a way to try out like the largest variety of items in the fastest amount of time for the lowest price. The monthly special packs always are enough to qualify for free shipping. If you use the delivery service, you have to use the delivery service to qualify for these prices anyways, but you don't have to, you know, be afraid of it. It doesn't, you're not committed to buying a certain amount of anything. You can turn it off whenever you want. You can skip, you can, you know, move the dates, anything you want, change the items. But like I said, I typically buy the gallon size family cans all the time. And I just keep thinking of uh, instances when it might be handy to have a smaller can things like camping trips or things like giving for gifts things like sticking in like a meal kit like maybe a weekly meal bucket you know if i wanted just a little bit of ground beef and i didn't want a whole gallon size can or you know a vegetable to put in so uh, november specials were peaches strawberries onions chopped onions um butternut squash hamburg cheddar cheese and corn so I actually got two of these monthly packs because one is part of our prize package that we're giving away to one of our lucky customers. So keep an eye out for that winner. And then I'll be sending one of these monthly special packs along with the rest of our prize to our winner. But I only put one up here on the counter. One is for me to keep. And then behind that, I've got a case, which is six of the large family cans of the butternut squash, because that's one that we like a lot. It had a really good discount. And that's really the key to stocking up on any kind of food is buy what's on sale, buy what has the biggest discount if it's something that you'll use. That's going to save you money in the long run. And when you keep a food storage, it allows you to do that. And it allows you to really stock up because you don't need much in any given week. If you're shopping from your food storage already, you only need a few fresh items. So that cuts down your grocery budget a lot and it leaves a lot more in the budget to stock up on what's on sale and buy it in bulk to get the best price, even if it's not something you need that week. Behind there, I have a bunch of packets of potatoes. These are the Just Add Water. They already have the butter, milk, flavor, all that stuff included. You just have to add hot water. These are super, super handy. They're great for emergencies because you don't need to have butter, milk, and all those other ingredients on hand. You don't have to dirty up a bunch of measuring utensils. But they're also great just for everyday dinners. If I need a quick, quick dinner, maybe I have some leftover meat or maybe I, you know, I'm just opening up a can of something. I can whip up these potatoes super fast. We're going to use at least two packs if I'm making them for my whole family. So I always have to have plenty of these on hand. And I've used quite a few in my meals in a bag lately, so I got a bunch more to replace. And then here I have one more freeze-dried item, and this is something you have not seen us have before because this is brand new to us. Um, we just discovered this company. These are some freeze-dried like sweets and candies. Of course, Thrive Life's focus is on healthy, single-ingredient, clean foods, so they don't have as much fun stuff as like candy and sweets. So we found these. These look amazing. This is freeze-dried cheesecake bites, and you can see it's got three different flavors. They're packaged up so nicely in little paper wrappers, almost like a box of chocolates. And then this one is a freeze-dried pico, pico coconut, so pecan and coconut, which I love, bites. That looks really tasty. And this one is ice cream balls, ice cream bites. It is a strawberry swirl ice cream, which I was really excited to do the ice cream. Now, you might be wondering why we bought freeze-dried sweets treats when we have a freeze dryer last year for christmas our freeze dryer was brand new to us and we did a lot of things like this for christmas gifts for our family we freeze dried candy and uh, cheesecake and eggnog all sorts of things like that and it went over really well it was a big hit but it, it was time consuming for us to do around the holidays and so this year i just really need to go with easy i need to do some go with something that's already done for me and i will put a link for them also down in the description box as well and now I have a bunch of different canned items. These are from a variety of different places. Well, probably just Walmart and Amazon, but I'll put links to each thing in the description so that you can see where I got it from. 
So the mixed chili beans, um, this was something I'd never seen before. I've had chili beans for many years, never seen the mixed ones. And I'm a big fan of things that are mixed together like this. I don't know why. I like the way it looks. So I've got some ideas to use these in some meals in a bag and some different recipes. And of course, they'd be great to just throw in any chili recipe. So I picked up a few of these. Then I got these, I've got Keystone meats here. You know I love Keystone meats. These little cans of beef, this is the beef, like the roast beef or the shredded beef, not the ground beef. And honestly, I'm pretty sure that when I purchased these, I thought I was getting the larger cans like this because when they came, I was not expecting this and I couldn't think of what I would have been planning to do with them. I have bought smaller cans of the Hamburg because sometimes I just want um, just this amount in a recipe. And so I'm sure I'll use these for something. Like I use the smaller can of the Hamburg in my cowboy pasta salad meal in a bag. And it was the perfect amount because in an emergency situation, if you don't have refrigeration, you're not gonna wanna have a lot of leftovers when you open a can, a bottle, a package, anything. So I've got these beefs. I've got one of the ground beef. And then I've got this beef here, which is a shredded beef. I've used this in several things recently. Um, I'll put the videos down in the description um, of what kind of meals I've used this in. But I had, I, that was a two pack and I left one wrapped up because I wanted to show you how nicely this was Walmart. And I have been having cans. It's kind of a pain to have to unwrap every single can, but at the same time, I'm not getting a box full of dented cans, which is really nice. Because I know some people have had issues with that from certain places. So Walmart's been really good for me lately because my stores in my area don't carry these Keystone meats in the store. When we were in Utah, we found them in the store. I was super jealous, but I have to order these online. Keep an eye out on the prices. You can order from Keystone's website directly. You have to order a case at a time. Their prices, of course, are good. Um, some things, sometimes I can actually get a better price buying from Amazon or Walmart, but you have to keep an eye out because they'll go out of stock um, from those stores and you'll have other sellers swoop in that are selling them for way more. So, you know, I would say between nine, nine, ten dollars a can for the big cans is probably what you would want to look for. And then I've got these two cans of turkey. These are like the bigger size, like 12 ounce cans, like, well, it says 10 ounces, but I think in tuna fish, the bigger cans are 12 ounces. But so this is turkey. So I have used cans of Keystone turkey in like my Thanksgiving meal in a bag and stuff. But somebody who couldn't get Keystone could use a couple of these to stand in for one of these. Now here I've got, I guess, five cans of this um, Patterson's Carolina uh, barbecue beef. This is something that I think is commonly sold in the stores in certain areas of the country, just like the Keystone Meats. We don't have it in our stores around here. Sometimes when I'm lucky, I can get it from Walmart. Um, it goes in and out of stock a lot, but when it was in stock for shipping, I grabbed these cans. I have some plans to test for some meals in a bag to use these in, so keep an eye out for that. Let me know if you've ever tried this because this is new to me. Like I said, we don't have it in our area. And then I've got six cans of the Carnation Evaporated Milk. This is the small can, the five ounce can. These cans are perfect for certain things. They're just enough, like I used them in my dessert in a bag for my holiday meals, my pumpkin pie cupcakes. And they were just the perfect amount. And they are just the perfect amount for a lot of things because just like I mentioned with the other cans, you don't want to have an open can with leftovers if you don't have refrigeration. This is a case Campbell's cream of chicken. This I got from Amazon. Usually I can get a better price from Amazon by the case than I can at my Walmart for these soups. Right now at the holidays, you might be able to find a better deal, especially if you have other grocery stores. We don't have a lot of different grocery stores with good deals, but if you do, you can probably find a better price on these cans. I use a ton of cream of chicken soup in recipes. We just needed to replace some that have been used. And then this is another case of, it's the breakfast sausage hash that I just learned about from my friend. And we tried a case. Um, I had it in one of my last hauls and we uh, cooked up a couple cans and we liked it a lot. So we grabbed another case of that. This is just a new seasoning I'm trying, umami seasoning. You wanna make sure you have plenty of seasonings in your prepper pantry so that you don't get food fatigue and you can make a variety of different meals. I am always looking for different seasonings for my meals in a jar, different flavors I'm trying to create. And so I grabbed this one to try. I should also have another couple umami seasonings coming because I couldn't really make up my mind. So look for those in a future haul. And of course, here are some items that can be for desserts, for shelf stable desserts. I just used the caramel apple pie filling in my caramel apple upside down gingerbread that I used for my dessert in a bag with my Christmas dinner. 
And so I'm just replacing that because that was really good. Dream Whip, when I used this, of course, everyone had a memory of their mom or their grandma having Dream Whip when they were younger. I always remember my grandmother having a box of this in her kitchen cupboard. I know exactly where it was. In fact, there's probably still one today because I'm blessed to still have my grandmother at 90 years old. And then this was just something I was looking at different frostings for a project I was doing and this one popped up and I thought, oh, that looks so delicious. My kids love cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon dust stuff. So I grabbed a couple of these because you can always do um, cakes shelf stable if you just have a box of cake mix and a can of soda. Just mix that together and bake it and it makes the perfect cake. You don't need the eggs. You don't need whatever other ingredients go in the cake mix. Just a, a can of soda will do it. Then if you have some frosting, you've got a good dessert. And then I've got a couple of books that were really, really interesting. This one is called Storing Food Without Refrigeration, and it's kind of geared towards camping, RVing, boating, and off-grid living. And then this one is called Preserving Food Without Freezing or Canning. So both of these I thought were really interesting. I love having books on hand because you can look up some of this information online, but what happens when the grid goes down or the internet goes down? You're not going to have access to any of that. So this one is interesting. It's got a lot of like, it's got some recipes and it's got some meal plans. Um, you know, meal plans with shelf stable food, but it's got a lot more different ideas for like, th there's stuff about using a cooler. It's got a lot of different ideas for items that you can have and use to um, replace things shelf stable like using half and half little packets for things or media crema you know i use that all the time that's one of my favorite items different options that you can have buttermilk powder coconut milk powder things that i use so there might not be a lot of new information there's the neato there might not be a lot of new information for me in here but i i find it interesting to have this anyways i will try to put a link for this down below for you i think i actually ended up finding this on a boating or sailing site because i think amazon was out of stock at the time so i'll see where i can find it now and put a link um, for you now this book is a little bit different this does have all kinds of recipes and techniques i like this preservation without nutrient loss that is interesting um you know that i like to get food that has the least nutrient loss that's why we do a lot of freeze drying this book does not cover freeze drying because i think it's trying to kind of do off-grid type of um mold fashioned methods of preserving but so it's got preserving in the ground in a root cellar preserving by drying um, lactic fermentation in oil and vinegar with salt with sugar sweet and sour preserves preserving in alcohol and which method for preserving each food so i thought this was really interesting so i'm glad to have this and i can't wait to take a look at it then back here I've got, um, this is a coarse sea salt. Now, of course, you need to have lots of salt stored. It's one of the most important um, foods and nutrients that you can store in your food storage. But this one I got just for, I have plenty of regular salt. This is coarse. I think I saw a cookie recipe, like a salted caramel something or other that wanted some coarse salt sprinkled on the top. So that's why I grabbed this. But of course, it could serve many purposes if it, it needed to. And then these, of course, these aren't part of our food storage. This is just a couple things that came with everything else. But I was excited to see these. I am a sucker for anything that is like holiday themed. So these were some trail mixes that Walmart had right now. I did not ever see them in my store, but I kept seeing them online and they'd go out of stock really quickly. And when I finally saw them come back in stock, I grabbed them. I placed my order. So I got a couple of these. I think I'm going to put them in some mason jars or some cute clear containers so that they can look pretty and the kids can snack on them. I think they'd also be good stirred into like the popcorn with the marshmallow, melted marshmallow coating and stuff like that. I think they'd be really good that way too. I think they have enough junk in them, candy and stuff, that my kids will probably actually eat these because usually if I get regular trail mix, they just pick out the M&Ms. So. And then back here, you know we always prep for our pets. You always have to remember your pets. This is something I got to add to our first aid kit for our pets. This is a chicken and rice. Um, it's freeze dried, so it's super healthy. I've had the um, stomach, like sensitive stomach chicken and rice um, canned foods before, but I wanted to get some of this freeze dried. It's just chicken and rice. It is human grade, which means it's literally just food that you could eat if you needed to chicken and rice. But this is for when they're having, you know, upset stomach and things like that. Um, this is what our vet would usually recommend when we've had dogs having issues with that. So I thought having some right on hand 
and not having to go out if somebody gets sick suddenly and having on hand for if we are in a situation where we can't even get to the vet or get to the store. And next I've got six jars of, this is great value hazelnut spread. This was the best price I could find on basically Nutella. This is a larger container. My Walmart never had this before. I don't think Walmart sold a container this size before. And I did compare the prices to the wholesale clubs that I have access to, which is BJ's and Sam's Club. Actually, we just got a Costco, I think, in our state. I have not been there, and it's about an hour away from me, and I don't know when I'll get there because time. But I am excited to check it out when I get a chance. But I got six of these because this was the best price I could get right now. Um, I have a child who is absolutely obsessed with Nutella. And, of course, Nutella is really good. So, And then I've got some snacks, some granola bars. You always want to have some snack foods in your prepper pantry. Now snack foods don't tend to stay good as long as a lot of other foods. So you can't stock up on, you know, five years worth, or you can't, you know, buy a whole bunch and put it away thinking you're going to get into it in five or 10 years. But you can buy a one year supply or even a six month supply, build up to that and then start replacing it as you use it. And then no matter what happens, you would have at least six months of snacks to get you by. If you needed to ration them, you could make them last even longer. And then the last thing I have here is a couple of different fun Fetty frostings. Um, I was putting together birthday bags to go with my holiday meals in a bag. You can put together birthday bags with the cake mix and the soda. Like I mentioned, you can put some frosting with some sprinkles. You can put candles. Um, you can put all that stuff. And if you were ever to have a birthday that occurred and happened during an emergency, you would have a way to whip up a cake and have a little bit of a celebration, which could be really important. And they also make really good donation items. So this was just a few different frostings that I grabbed because you can make so many different variations of this. And I actually found an, a, an incredible assortment of Funfetti frostings. And I had a whole bunch of them in my cart, but they're only available um, in a store that's a little bit further away. So I can't get them until then because they won't ship them to me. Now, I promised you I would talk a little bit about the milks and what I've noticed because these are the two brands that we buy. They're the two brands that we store. They're the two brands that we use. They're the two brands that we like. So the Thrive Life has like a low fat or non-fat milk powder. And the Neato is a whole milk powder, which is why... I've been buying it because sometimes I would like to have that little extra richness of a whole milk, mostly in recipes. Now, if you have a small child like a toddler, then you would want whole milk for your toddler. But I don't have a toddler anymore, so I use it in recipes. But I found that more often than not lately, I tend to just use the Thrive Life, which is what we like for every day. And I just use a little bit extra powder for a little bit of extra richness if I want it to be more like a whole milk. And I just, I ordered this because I found a really good deal on this. It had like a 40% off coupon. So I got an amazing deal on it and I hadn't bought it in a while. So I hadn't looked at a can in a while. So when it came, because I got this on Amazon, I was just looking at like the ingredients and the nutrition. And this is a fortified um, milk powder, which means it has some added vitamins and minerals and stuff, which is not necessarily a bad thing to have our foods be fortified. It's better to get our nutrients that are naturally in the food, but it's not a terrible thing to fortify the food. But I was just looking at the ingredients and I saw it has whole milk, soy lecithin, sodium ascorbate, which is vitamin C, and then it's got um, all of these other items which are vitamins. The soy lecith lecithin I don't think is for a vitamin. I, I believe that's for emulsification purposes. And you see that these are ingredients that are not in regular dry whole milk, certain ones that are marked that way. And you see right down here, it contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Now, a lot of people are concerned about that right now and keeping an eye on their labels for that. Now, you have to realize it's not something new that they're putting in our food. They haven't changed the foods. They've just changed the labeling requirements, meaning now, by law, they have to label um, bioengineered ingredients that they use in the food. And with this one, it's going to be the soy. I'm pretty certain because soy is a very commonly um, bioengineered product in this country. But so just looking at this, I just started thinking about it and I thought um, maybe it's time for me to just switch. I mean, we won't throw away anything we have. We'll use up what we have, but I probably might just stop buying this one and just stick with this one because this one of course has only the milk and then the vitamin a and d and it's not labeled on the can but it is um, non-gmo 
like pretty much just about every single food that they sell. The other thing I wondered about this Neato is that I know that calcium and iron kind of counteract each other. They kind of, you know, it, they kind of interfere with the absorption of the other nutrients. So I was a little bit unsure about the wisdom of adding iron into milk with calcium. But I'm not a scientist and I'm not a nutritionist. That was just something that I was thinking about. And like I said, I did get a great deal on the Neato. And a lot of people do love this brand. It does have a good taste. Right now, there's a really good deal going on on the Thrive Life as well because they have their milk 50% off. It is one of their overstock items. And so what that means is they made too much of it. They didn't sell it quickly enough. So their foods typically have a 25-year shelf life. Oh, that's another thing I noticed when I was thinking about the milk. This one has a 25-year shelf life from the date that it's manufactured. This one says, I just purchased this, and it says it's good until... April 30th of 2024, which is not that far from now. And a lot of that I think has to do with maybe a little bit the fact that it has the fat, it is a whole milk, but that's not gonna be all of it. Part of it is a lot of other companies are not packaging their foods for long-term storage. Whereas Thrive Life's foods are all packaged for long-term storage. So that's something that I also try to remind myself when I'm shopping around different companies, different brands, different products. Certain things might not be packaged and intended to last a very long time. But with the overstock with these, what that basically means is once they've sat on the shelf for a year or more, they're not going to have a 25-year shelf life anymore. They're going to have a 24-year shelf life or a 23-year shelf life. But to get 50% off of this, honestly, to give up one to two years of that shelf life, I am fine with a 23-year shelf life. We are going to use this up long before 23 years because we follow the principles of use what you store and store what you use. I use this in jar meals. We use this when we run out of milk. I use this as a coffee creamer if I'm out of whatever I typically um, use as a coffee creamer, which is typically just some whole milk out of the gallon that we have in the fridge. But, but this makes a great coffee creamer. I also have used coconut milk powder in my coffee as well. But this is my go-to shelf-stable coffee creamer. And unlike some of those other powdered coffee creamers that you can keep on hand for emergencies, this one doesn't have a bunch of funky ingredients. So that was just kind of the reasoning that I was doing with myself um, in my head about milk powders and just some things that I just noticed. I've been buying this for years. I've been buying both of these for years and I just now noticed that because like I said, there's been some changes in packaging requirements and things. But the shelf life difference also is something that I didn't really think about before. And so I think we'll be just sticking with this. I have several cases already and at 50% off, I'm gonna buy another case. If you want to check it out, I will put a link directly to this down in the description box below the video. Make sure that you're following our links because if you just go search it on Google, you are going to wind up purchasing from somebody. It's not going to be me, probably. And then when people come to me for help with their order, I, I really can't help them. So, so make sure that you're following the link and get the coupon code from us. Look down below and make sure to text my number and register for an account on the website with your email because it's good to do both because I don't send a text ahead of time to show what's going to be on sale because I don't want to overwhelm people with too many texts. I don't want to be a pain in the butt. And I don't ever, you know, sell your information, give your information to anybody else. It just stays with me. Just a couple of texts a month, usually with coupon codes, sales, things like that. But the email I will use to send sale previews so people can think about things ahead of time, plan for it, um, get their deliveries all set up and things. So it helps to have the account with the email as well. Okay guys, that's everything that I've added to our preps and our pantry this week. Keep calm and prep on and give yourself and others the gift of peace of mind. Don't forget to sign up for our text and email service and check the description box below to get your Thrive Life coupons and go check us out on Facebook and join my deals and steals group. Let me know down in the comments. How are you doing with your holiday shopping? Are you just getting started or are you one of those uber organized people who's got everything finished and wrapped already? If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a gift emoji down in the comments and check out this video next for some great prepper gift ideas. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.